Good evening, students. Now, in this video, I will take you through the steps in how we construct a square equal in area to a rectangle. All right, so the two shapes that will be in focus um, in this video will be a square and a rectangle. So the two of them will be equal in area when we are finished, all right? So looking at this information given here, where you have the rectangle being labeled as ABCD, where AB is 60 millimeters and AD 40 millimeters. So this means that we have to construct the rectangle first, all right? So that is step one. All right, so without any hesitation, we'll go and construct that rectangle. And of course, um, we should have an idea how to construct a rectangle. All right, now AB is given as 60 mm, so we draw the line to the length 60. Then, of course, we go through our process of labeling. Labeling is very important. Good. Now, for those of you who may have forgotten what to do, the next thing you need to do is construct a 90 degree angle here because we are looking for a rectangle. And each angle in a rectangle is equal to 90 degrees. So we construct that 90 degree angle. Now, please note, we are not drawing, right? We are not drawing, we're constructing. So we don't just take our ruler and pencil and draw a rectangle. We need to construct it. We need to show how we obtain the rectangle. All right, so that is what we're doing. And I'm just repeating the steps there for some persons who may have forgotten. All right, so we construct the 90 degree angle. We construct the 90 degree angle. Now what we need to do next is ensure that we have the height of the rectangle being 40. The length of the base is, four, is 60 and the height will be 40. So we use the pair of compasses again and we open to 40. So we come at A and we mark Scribe an arc on that line that would give us the height of the rectangle. Then with the same 40 mm, we go to B and we do the same. Now, when we finish with that, we have the height to the left side and the right side. We have the base. Now we need to get it up. And if you can remember, the opposite sides of a rectangle, they are equal. So if the left hand side is 40, the right hand got to be 40. That is what we did just now. And if the base is 60, it means the top has to be 60 also. So we use 6 mm, we go from that point of intersection and we scribe an arc on this arc that is here to give another intersection. So that intersection we label C. And this one up here should be D, right? And if you remember, A, D is 40. So all we need to do now is complete the construction by joining the two sides. All right, so there we have the rectangle. But now to change this rectangle to a square, what we need to do next is extend the A, B line all right, we don't have a particular length for that line. We just extend it. Um, 
Just let me move this down a little bit. Yes, so we can have enough space to work. Good. So we take the pair of compasses. Now we go from B, open to C. Right, we go from B and open to C. And we draw an arc around. All right, you draw an arc around this line that we extended. So where that arc touches that line, we label that point E. All right, we label that point E. Now we need to get the, we need to get the center from E to E. All right, we need to get the center from E to E. So in order to find that center, we bisect AE, all right? We bisect AE, and we should know how to bisect a line, a line, right? We go from one end, we open to more than half, scribe one half on top, scribe one at the bottom, then we go from E with the same measurement, all right, we do the same. One arc on top and one at the bottom to intersect. Good. So we take, uh, we draw a line through the intersection that gives us the center. All All right, that would give us the center. Just let me get this. But that's not 100% um, accurate, but we'll work with that for now. Good, so the center we label as O. Now, the main reason why we found that center is because we want to draw a semicircle from that center. So you go from there, open to A, and you draw a, a, a semicircle all the way around to E, right? So we draw a semicircle. Good. So this is where we are. Now, our next step is to draw a line from B, sorry, basically to be from C. Oh, this extended line, or in other words, extend BC up to this semicircle, right? But what I'll do, I'll just use a, a take a line from B and extend it all the way up to C, sorry, up to the semicircle. Now, why I use a thick line is because I want to indicate that that line is one side of the square that we're looking for. So we label that up F. All right, so BF is one side of the square. Now seeing that or knowing that BF is one side of the square, we can use that measurement, right? We can use that measurement from B to F and we can obtain all the other sides. So we get the base here, right? This would be the length of the base. And as we know, within a square, all the sides are equal. So we use this same measurement. We go to we go to F, and we mark off our arc here, and then we go to this end line, and we mark on top. All right. So using the same measurement, we can obtain a square. So we just draw our lines now to the various intersections. And that will give us our square. All right, so in labeling now, we just need to label this bottom part G. 
and up here we label as H. All right, so B, G, H, F is the required square. All right, that square would be equal to the area of this triangle, sorry, rectangle. All right, once you do the construction accurately, both of them will be the same in terms of area. All right, so that's how this construction is done. Now, there's one variation to this in the sense that if our rectangle was standing upright like this, and we were asked to construct a square, now the steps will remain the same because you have to extend the baseline, right? You have to scribe this arc around here as we did. You have to bisect and obtain the line just as we did. And you have to also draw the semicircle. However, the semicircle would come below the height of the rectangle. So what do we do in that case? All right, in that case, because you remember the first one, we had to extend the BC line up to the semicircle. But in this case, the semicircle falls below the rectangle. So in that case, we simply use this line as the height where the semicircle intersect the line. That, that would be the side of the square, one side of the square. So with that measurement, we mark off the base, we mark off on top, and then from here we intersect. And we simply draw our square like that. All right, so that would be your square. It will be below the height of the rectangle. All right, so that's it. That's the only variation. So if you come across one like this, you know, the steps are the same and this is how it would look. All right, so thank you for watching. I do hope this video would have helped you in completing your task. All right, so I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.